Hey, this is Steven from uh, Legit Tech Tutorials, and welcome to my tutorial, Beginning C, uh, tutorial number three. So uh, this tutorial, we're going to be going over um, integer uh, variables. So variables, um, I, and like I said, this is probably your intro to programming class, uh, intro to programming, the first program uh, language that you ever learned. So I'm going to go really, really slow and try to make sure that you get everything. So what is an integer? An integer is something that you would see a lot in math. You use it to store data. For example, we're going to say like a Cartesian uh, coordinate system, which is the one where the cross, the x and the y, uh, the uh, x and the y axis that form a cross. For example, you'd have the x variable would be a point of 2, the y variable would be point of 4. So in a um, in a combination, you would have you know two and then four. So this would be the x variable, and this would be a y uh, y variable. So it's just a way of storing information on a computer and storing it in your RAM. But we're not going to go into how that works. Um, so for example, how would I write something like that? So let's say I want an integer. So this means integer. An integer is anything between. It could have a negative value or it could have a positive value, but it cannot have a decimal point. It cannot have a decimal point. So, uh, integer, uh, which we put down as an int, and you see it turns blue, and when something turns blue, that's a keyword. So we have a blue int, and then we're going to name it. So this is the convention for C and Java, both share the same thing, and C++ and C sharp and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, you do this is a convention, so you do int what the type is and then what the identifier is. So let's call it integer one. You could call it whatever you want. And then int integer two. Now these are two separate integers. Now you could do one of two things. Uh, you could either set them up to be um, you could either initialize them this is what's calling initializing them. You could set them equal to a number. So here you see you add the equal sign and then you add a number and then now integer 2 is equal to 2. Or you could do it later. You could do it farther down here, integer 2 equals 2 or integer 1 equals 3. You could do it later down here, it doesn't matter. Also another note about naming things, uh, the identifier, which this that's what these are called, is you cannot have a number at the beginning. It gives you a problem. You have to have a number after or not at all. And also, you can't have spaces. Spaces are an error. So you could have underscore, stuff like that. That's all good. But other than that, usually we just go like this and no spaces. Um, yeah. So what other types of very what other types of variables do we have? We have double, which is basically this, but with you know, you could have uh, you could actually have decimal points in there. So we're gonna say double one is equal to one dot two three. That's okay because that's a double. And then you have, but most of the time we'll probably use float. So what is a float? A float is the exact same thing, but a float cannot a, a float does not have the same number of precision variables, significant figures. I guess you could call it if you're into physics. Uh, float is a smaller, it's 16-bit, I believe, and doubles 32-bit. You don't have to worry about that, but the bigger number could store more numbers, and the smaller number could store a smaller number. So this is 16, and this is 32, so this could store almost double the number, uh, double the precision. So, uh, but both of them are used to store uh, decimal points. And then you have Boolean, or I guess in this case, Bool. A Boolean, or Bool, is either it's similar to if you learn binary, which is basically what a transistor is. It's either on or off. Any sort of electrical thing, it's either on or off, right? So this one is, so we'll call it bool1, is equal to either true. It could be either, oops, true or false. Those are the, it could either be true or false. That's, that's the only thing it could be, which is, in this case, on or off, good or bad. E, uh, good or evil, whatever you want to do it. However you want to remember it, it it's, it's, yeah.
Anyways, uh, so next one is Char. Char is a character, and a character is only like like so. You put single quotes, and it is one character. So in this case, character is only one F. And then uh, what else do we got? That's uh, basically all we're going to go into right now. So now let's go ahead and go into some program, some programming here. So let's say that we want to print just a basic, we want to do just some basic addition. So we're going to do a print F line like we already went over. And then we're going to say enter, uh, we're going to say um, the addition of the I'm just indenting that so I could um, compress this thing down a little better or better so you could view it. I guess I'll go like this. First and second value is, and we're going to say, uh, we're going to say print F. We're going to say sum is, sum is, and then we're going to do these guys. Now, these guys are an exit, are, are kind of like an, um, basically it's a placeholder. They're called placeholders. So in this case, uh, here we're going to put a double. So that's what the D is, but in this case, you know, you can do whatever. You can make an I, it doesn't matter. So basically what happens is that we're telling it we're going to enter in another value here at the end. So we're going to say now let's 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 write an integer to hold the sum. So we're going to call this sum equals integer 1 plus integer 2. Now those right there you can see basically what happens is this an identifier will look through your program and find that match in identifier. As you see, they turn gray. So it's going to jump here and say, OK, well, integer 1 is 3. So let's enter in 3 where this guy is. Then it will jump to integer 2 and find integer 2 and enter in the number 2. So then we go 3 plus 2, 5. It'll say, OK, this is 5. Now let's take 5 and store it into sum. So sum now equals 5. If you want to check that, then you just enter in here. So uh, back to here. So this is an integer, integer placeholder. So now we tell it, okay, here's the energy we want to put in there. So now it will put the integer where we tell it to in here. So we could say this and be like blah 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 blah, and it will store it in between this the this uh, these other characters in the string here. So let's say we build it. Uh, well, actually, we don't really need to build it. Let's just uh, debug. Start without debugging, and it will build it. Oh, but uh, it it for whatever reason doesn't like it. It doesn't like this guy, so we'll get rid of bullying. We're not going to worry about bullying for a while. So, oops. Okay, maybe we should build it. Sorry about that build solution. Okay, I'm missing, oh, missing a, uh, uh, yeah. Should be okay, one successful, one succeeded. So let's go ahead and build it. Okay, this guy, I need an exit N to give it a new line. Build this again, and debug it. There you go. So you can see here that here's the sum. The addition of the first and the second value is sum is 5, blah, blah, blah. I could have done it here, but it would go too far. So I just indented it, kind of. So you see here that it inserted the I right here, and then it let the blah, blah, blah go, and then it did a new line, which the new line we technically don't even need because there's nothing after that. But 
you see here what we've got going. Um, so, so, the, so that's basic addition. And uh, we'll go over, um, actually, I don't even know how I'm going to structure the next lesson. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to go as slow as possible. Now, don't worry if you don't get it right now. It, this is going to be compounded every single tutorial because this is a basic operation. So this is addition. So here we have one integer plus this other integer. And let's say we get rid of these. You don't have to worry about the rest of this stuff. We'll work with these later. So this is all you need right here. So you have one integer and you initialize it to three. We have a second integer and we initialize it to two. These are two separate things. They're holding two separate values. And then we have a second one where the sum is integer one plus integer two. Now you can even do that in here, which is called nesting. And that sh should work. Yep, see, it still works. So uh, th that's because it's a return value. Uh, you don't have to worry about return value right now. Um, anyways, so yeah, so this is basic addition here. So like I said, we got two integers. We add the two integers together. We tell the user what it is and what the answer is by using a placeholder. And the different placeholders is I for integer, D for double, F for float, C for char, you know, that kind of thing. So, but right now, for the most part, we're going to use I and F or 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 uh, D for double. All right. So this is a uh, concluding tutorial number three. I'll see you next tutorial where we'll probably just add on this just a little bit, and we'll start to get more and more complex as the tutorials go on. So uh, thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more videos in this series and other series like it. And I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions on this or any comments or anything to add, email me at the channel name legittechtutorials at gmail.com. So the channel name at gmail.com. And I will see you next tutorial. Thanks for watching, and uh, keep it going. Keep going on these tutorials, and I'll see you next video. Take it easy.